We have, of course, just today, Mr. Berners-Lee, seen Donald Trump, the President of the United States, sign into law the fact on the unwinding that internet service providers need to ask us before selling on our web browsing history. That is something that seems to be a step backwards, perhaps, in your mind's eye? I think it's a step in a very bad direction. I think it's a step in a, in a disgusting direction, in fact. Um, and I think it really uh, suggests a lack of appreciation of the core values, which are core, you know, the, the international values, the human values, they're core American values, they're core, core, core Republican values too. So, uh, so it's a bizarre way to go. In fact, it is just a step, it's a sort of a, an indication of a direction. Because some of the reaction to this, of course, was that the internet service providers, the likes of ATT, perhaps were being unfairly treated when the internet juggernauts such as Google and Facebook ruled, overseen by the FTC, are allowed to use our data, perhaps without getting us completely to sign away the agreement to that. Do you think that some of the internet giants should have to go through more rigorous testing when it comes to use of our data, or is that the quid pro quo to having free services? Yes, it is a good idea for the internet giants like the big social networks and the, and the search engines to, uh, to be uh, subjected to serious cons uh, constraints over user privacy and user data. That doesn't mean that they are the same as AT&T or Comcast. AT&T and Comcast, their job is to deliver the bits. When you see the unfoldings of fake news, which is now so prominent in our discourse, is this something that you ever felt the World Wide Web would be in a state of at the moment? Is this something that you think is being reacted to in the right way? Well, I have to say that 2016 really changed my attitude. So for, so for 20 years, 25 years since the web started, I would assumed that those of us who do things with the web and the internet just trying to make sure that the internet is a platform, an open platform, uh, the web is another platform built on top of that. It should be solid, it should be neutral, and then if you give humanity a good, open, solid, non-discriminatory platform, then humanity will go ahead and do good things. And look, you know, we, we, we kept it open, we got lots of innovation, and we got Wikipedia, and we got OpenStreetMap, and we got all kinds of great things. But then 2016, I think actually it's not sufficient to just leave it open and let whatever happens on the social networks happen. So I think that now, no, no we have to look at the social networks, and people who build the social networks uh, have to look at them and, uh, and think about the effect that they are having, the emergent effect that they are having on humanity. Where does the World Wide Web go from here now with the rise of artificial intelligence? We are now using devices at home. You talked about, of course, in Internet of Things. We're talking and using voice search now. Where do you think we can see the World Wide Web progress to? In a way, I've always said that the next thing around the corner, it's really important that those of us who work on the current technology can't even imagine what's going to come. So to a certain extent, that's the, the case with artificial intelligence. I think there are some things which, uh, like driverless cars, will be, uh, will be really valuable. The moment they become, more, uh, they become safer than people driving, then that will have a massive effect. There's another thing when the AI starts doing the jobs which make the decisions when the AI starts to become a judge, when the AI, uh, for example, if when it's inside a social network and it's deciding what's a good news story for you to read, already it has a lot of power. So when that sort of thing starts being done by AIs, then that uh, then a lot more interesting questions, more, more serious questions about what's happening to, uh, to society and to what extent human beings are in control of it. And I think the, the questions that people like Elon Musk and, and Bill Gates are asking about w uh, the, what happens if the AIs get smarter than us, I think those are good questions to ask.